Good morning, guys. Um, today makes eight weeks since I had the vertical sleeve gastrectomy, and um, yeah, <laughs> a lot has changed since surgery. I've lost 30 pounds since surgery, 73 pounds total. This has been my hardest week. Um, I told you in my last video that my grandmother had bone cancer and they weren't expecting her to make it. The same day that I posted that video, she did actually pass. And um, I've been struggling with eating. The day that she passed and the day after, I struggled with my eating. But then, I swear my cabinets are always open. Um, but then... I did get back on track and start watching what I was eating. Uh, I did do some drinking over this past weekend. Of course, it wasn't a lot. Um, and even then, I was conscious about what I was drinking. I um, did purchase... Now, I did not drink all of this by myself. <laughs> I shared it. But um, I did purchase the Skinny Girl Vodka, which um, has less calories than regular alcohol but that's only because okay it has less calories than regular alcohol i purchased that and i did drink it drink on that over this past weekend however um as you can see from my intro i did lose a lot this week and i've said this before i lose more whenever i cheat which i think is really what is which I think is really crazy. But um, I'll, I did, like, I cheated this week. I did get it back under control. But I lost a total of 4.6 pounds for the week, which I believe is the biggest loss I've had since the first week out of... It's the biggest loss that I've had in a while because I've only been losing about 1 to 2 pounds per week. So um, this week I lost 4.6 pounds. Um, I do have two appointments today. One with um, my, it's not the surgeon, it's the person that works with the surgeon. I have an appointment with her. And then I have a dietitian class, which I'm so thankful for because I definitely need it. Um, things that I realize, I'm, look, I've been talking about how I'm, I'm eating, I'm watching what I'm eating. I, t I take in foods regularly, but I'm really realizing that I don't, my, my body doesn't like meat. Whenever I'm eating, um, I don't know if I've mentioned this before. I actually have, like, whenever I'm eating something, I actually have to, this sounds, this is disgusting. S sometimes I have to, like, spit out food. And most of the time, it's meat. Like, I said in an earlier video, my stomach does not like ground beef at all. Sometimes it tolerates chicken. Um, it really just depends on the day. And I have to play it by ear. I start eating. I, at once I take that first swallow or two, I re, I, that's when I realize, like, okay, yeah, no, I can't do this. And if I have some in my mouth, I go ahead and get rid of it and put it, put it up, eat whatever else that I have. But my body is not really liking meat. So I did, now, I did within, like, the past two weeks, I tried to take it back to the basics and do, like, a ricotta bake. My stomach, I loved it, but um, it was too repetitive. I'm going to try to do chicken salad this week, like a pureed chicken salad, because I really like that during the pureed food stage and see if I tolerate that, how well I tolerate that. Um, but whenever during the dietitian class, I'm going to have to get some suggestions and some recipes for other things that my body might like a little better since it's not processing meat the way that I would like for it to. And um, if it continues like this, I'll probably just try, no, not probably. It depends on if how I do with the puree chicken salad. I may just adopt like a vegetarian, excuse me, a vegetarian diet for the next week or so. Simply because, and I mean, it that won't be hard for me because I've, I was vegan at one point. <laughs> um, but to me, it seems like a good option for where I am right now. Because I literally, I'm not doing well with meat. Anyway, um, I don't really have much more to say today. I'm, I am have I still have a lot going on. But yeah, I'm definitely excited 
about the 4.6 pound weight loss. I'm going to continue to watch what I eat. The funeral isn't until next Saturday. So I'm going to stay on top of it <laughs> through this weekend. Uh, make sure I'm not eating. Make sure I'm not overeating or eating all of the junk that I ate the other over last weekend. As always, as always, guys, please leave any comments or suggestions in the box below. Um, I would like to say thank you to everyone that responded to my last video showing support. Um, it's really appreciated. I say this a lot. I like talking to people in comments. And um, I definitely love this community. Love knowing that there are people out there that understand me. And they're, they're, I feel like you guys are supportive and rooting for me. But yeah, leave your comment suggestions in the box below. Like and subscribe to my channel and thank you for watching.